Today I'm bringing you a special episode of My Plug Life. On July 9th, Victoria EV Club, with the support of other EV clubs in British Columbia, visited the legislation en masse in Victoria to support three amendments to the current legislation. There's about 150 members, around 88 cars or so. Um, and in 2019, British Columbia passed a Zero Emissions Act, which required 10% of new light-duty vehicle sales by 2025. 30% by 2030 and 100% by 24 to be zero emission vehicles. This sounds great. Problem is, it's 2020 now. We've already met that 10% target and we're still going ahead with more. So let's move up that target. We're five years early. Why not? But to maintain that momentum, we need a few other things changed as well, just to help out making people change over. So the second change that we need is the right to charge. So currently, owners and tenants in stratas don't have any legal recourse if the board refuses the right to charge their car at their own house. Wouldn't it be strange if you couldn't mow the lawn because you couldn't plug in your electric lawnmower or you couldn't use your dryer because the the building would lose power or fuses would blow. So this is kind of a, an issue that we need to deal with. Now typically stratas are run by a volunteer homeowners who require some technical understanding but since it seems as non-critical they tend to put it at the bottom of their list and uh, of priorities and in some cases they just refuse outright rather than invest time to explore it since it only affects a few tenants but that's today in the future that's going to change and i've seen some cases where people actually have to move out of their building because they can't charge their electric car because the strato just will refuse anything they want to try so in 2016 to combat this metro vancouver launched evcondo.ca this is a website aimed at providing support for strata councils, property managers, and residents to help educate them on how to get past these barriers. Now, this amendment that they want is not a new thing. We've seen similar amendments from 2018 in Ontario, where they amended their Condominium Act of 1998. So, we can go ahead with this, right? And following this logic, there should be a way to charge at new constructions going forward. Now, if a landowner had decided that they wanted to put a charger in, because of legislature or what have you, uh, they would probably have to pay $3,000, $6,000. They gotta dig a trench out to the car. They gotta put a, a wire out there. It's gonna be a lot of money and a lot of hassle. Now, if they had built the building with this in mind, then it would have probably only cost them like $300 first for the wire because they've already got the ground dug up. So this is the right thing to do. This is the way going forward. We're gonna need to have ways to charge our electric cars because they're here to stay. So all this is, is kind of just a kick in the butt saying, guys, do the right thing. People are going to want it. It's going to raise the value. Just do it. Anyways. So now these are certainly not all the issues that we have with electric vehicles becoming more common, but there are some major ones that are stopping people from making the leap from their gas lives to their plug lives. Anyways, thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one.